consumption of frozen baker in Eastern Europe is still relatively low compared with Western Europe. The product is uh, not very popular and um, to, to look at from the money side, Western Europeans are spending about three uh, dollars uh, per year per capita and Eastern Europeans are spending only 20 dollar cents. So this is pretty low. Um, the most uh, of the frozen bakery uh, is being eaten in uh, three countries. Croatia, Poland and Ukraine, they amount about 60% of uh, all Eastern European frozen bakery sales. One of the main reasons for frozen bakery and popularity in Eastern Europe um, is a traditionally well-developed fresh bakery sector. People really like to go to, uh, to small independent bakeries close to their homes and their neighborhoods to buy uh, fresh bread and pastry. Another reason is that a uh, relatively high percent of females are still uh, doing a lot of uh, cooking at home. Uh, so uh, they are baking their own bread and pastry and buns and so on. Um, usually they're using ready-made dough or uh, raw ingredients. As an outcome of previously mentioned reasons, um, naturally there is no much of demand from the population for frozen bakery. As there is no demand, there is not much of supply. So if you go to a local supermarket, you will not find much of a choice for frozen bakery. That's why people don't know the product much and they kind of don't trust it. Uh, they think it might be unhealthy um, because it's frozen. And uh, obviously, in most cases, it's also more expensive than the fresh bakery. The trends also vary a lot in Eastern Europe as such. Um, in Central and Southeast Europe, Balkans, um, where female occupation is higher, living standards are also more developed, uh, ready meals popularity is much stronger, um, frozen bakery is also used much more often. Uh, important to note that um, in many Eastern uh, countries like Russia, Ukraine, there is not much of strong chain retailing uh, which would have big spaces and also refrigerating facilities so crucial and necessary for storing the frozen bakery. It is important to mention that um, very different trends are being noticed in uh, B2B sector. Uh, many food service outlets as well as retailers are actually buying frozen bakery and uh, baking it in the outlets themselves and then selling to the consumer as freshly baked uh, bakery with obviously much higher markups. And the consumer still uh, really values the product and likes it because it's warm and fresh although he actually not always understands that this product previously was frozen. A very good example is a fresh food operator for Neti, which opened a lot of franchisees in Hungary, Slovakia, Czech Republic and Romania. The company had pretty limited success in retail sales, therefore decided to open uh, small street kiosks and stalls which are selling uh, fresh bakery, which was actually initially frozen. It was a great success and these outlets are expanding very much. Euromonitor agrees that uh, the consumption of frozen bakery is still at very early days in Eastern Europe. The growth in frozen bakery might be boosted by growing economic welfare a further popularization of ready meals, a faster pace of life and growing rates of female occupation.